Look at it, a pretty quiet start. Uh, it's not as cool as it was yesterday at this time. We told you that that wasn't going to be the case either uh, with higher moisture values moving in. Temperatures are in the mid 60s to right around 70 as we start out the day right now. About 70 degrees at uh, in downtown Charleston around 63 in McClellanville, 68 in Somerville, 72 on Johns Island. Elsewhere around the low country, we're in the upper 50s to mid 60s, back toward I-95, upper 60s, low 70s from Walterboro down to Johns Island, Folly Beach, and Edisto Beach as that more humid air is sliding in from the south. A partly sunny sky to a mostly cloudy sky expected today. It's going to be breezy. Northeast winds at 10 to 20, highs between 80 and 85. It's going to be a warm day again today. Here's how the day plans out. Increasing cloud cover, 70 degrees at 8 o'clock. By the time we get to the lunch hour, we're going to be right around 80. And then moving on into the afternoon, we're talking 81 degrees at 4 p.m. And at that point, we may be overcast. There is a chance for a shower or two. As we check out the uh, beach forecast here, about 80 degrees. We'll be in the mid 70s at 8, about 80 at noon, 80 at 4. Slim risk of a shower. Surf heights at 3 to 4 feet. Rip current risk is moderate water temperatures in the upper 70s. Breezy day out there on the beaches. Northeast winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour under a mostly cloudy sky. Tonight it'll be mostly cloudy and breezy as well. 60s to near 70. Northeast winds at about 10 to 15 and about 75 or so on the beach. And then tomorrow breezy with a shower risk. Northeast winds at 10 to 15. Highs are going to be between 80 and 85. Once again under a mostly cloudy if not totally cloudy sky. Here's how all this is going to work out. The main moisture shield associated with the circulation of Francine stays to the west. What we're going to see is an onshore wind. That onshore wind causes a piling up of air along our coast. That's called convergence. Once you get enough of that right up against our coastline, the air rises and you get rain. So we've got the cloud cover out there, showers developing during the day Friday. But watch this front. What do I always tell you when we're at the first part of hurricane season? and the end of hurricane season, you always have to watch these fronts for something to try to develop on it. And look what happens over the weekend. See all these showers and thunderstorms out here over the Atlantic waters. Well, those are going to move on shore and we're going to see some pretty decent coverage of showers Friday into Saturday and even into Sunday. But as we move into Sunday, an area of low pressure looks like it's going to try to develop off of our coast. I don't think this will be truly tropical at this point. Uh, but it will be developing into at least something to give us an enhanced chance for rain late Sunday and again into Monday. So the unsettled weather pattern continues. Remember, that's the price we have to pay to get a break from the heat this time of year. Typically, it does get unsettled, and that's what we're looking at all the way through the weekend. And count on to for the Low Country's only 10 day outlook. There's Monday with that higher than normal chance for rain returning about 82 degrees. We'll be in the mid 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a a slight chance of a shower as we head toward the middle and end of next week. I'm hoping we're going to be able to break out of this weather pattern. It's getting a little old to see all the cloud cover and the chances for rain. So with time for a little bit of a shakeup, hopefully we can do that toward the end of next week. But we will keep an eye on things for Friday, Friday night and Saturday, and then again late Sunday and into Monday as there will be multiple opportunities for rain between now and then. 